What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten WWE wrestlers who received death threats uh, recently. Uh, I want to say Alexa Bliss received some death threats from a deranged fan or deranged individual, and sometimes these fans or these people they just they they take it too far and they go to the extreme and they'd be like, "Yo, like, chill out." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's what are you doing? Like, stop, stop that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to check that out. Please don't be one of these individuals, man. It's okay to like someone or dislike someone, but don't go to the extreme of trying to send death threats. It's not cool. It's not necessary. Let's get into this video. In the past, it was rather <clears throat> common for villainous WWE superstars now, back to receive death threats. This was back then? Yeah, it was... It uh, Wrestling was perceived as real back then. So a lot of times people really was like, hey... You know what I'm saying? This guy is really an evil person. Let's get rid of him. Mainly because fans, if you can call them that, <clears throat> believe that these individuals were actually pure evil in real life. Yeah. And consequently, they wish death upon them. And you would assume that due to WWE being a PG presentation and most wrestlers breaking character in outside interviews, that these threats would have stopped. Nope. But you would be wrong. I remember due that Due to one. popularity of social media and the ability to hide behind an anonymous profile, this has unfortunately led to an <clears throat> influx of death threats towards WWE superstars. But which ones were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE superstars who received death threats. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's a, still a real thing, unfortunately. People are sometimes wild. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Baron Corbin. Interesting. Extreme Rules 2019 featured a mixed tag match which uh, involved Seth Rollins. When Baron Corbin went extra rogue and hit the fucking end of days on Becky Lynch. Oh my god, bro. That was so fucking... I ain't gonna lie to you. That was probably the most savage thing. One of the most savage things Baron Corbin has ever done in his career. Rollins teaming with Becky Lynch to take on Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. Oh my god. During the match, Corbin would hit Lynch with an end of days that to was the so utter savage. shock of the fans in attendance. Male on female offense is extremely limited Rare. in WWE, yeah, yeah. and fans were in total disbelief that WWE allowed something of this nature. It was a great moment that added to Corbin's heel persona, it was but great. some fans I ain't were out you. for blood. According to Corbin, during his appearance on the Out of Character podcast with Ryan Satin, he received multiple death threats. Wow. He stated, when I hit Becky with the end of days, I was getting death threats. On a regular basis, 95% of critics are on the internet or safely behind somewhere they can't be accessed. Roman said it the best one time, that he's never met a hater in real life. That's the same kind of thing with me. It'd be funny if at the airport, all the guys hanging there for autographs were like, open your Twitter and let me see if you're blocked or not to decide if you can get an autograph. It's funny, it's the cool thing to do now in life. People just want to drag people down. Mm -hmm. It makes them feel good, but my whole career has been that way with social media. But now it's 10 times the way the world is. You gotta have thick skin, man. Big facts. Number 9, The Davari Brothers. In 2018, WWE presented the greatest Royal Rumble pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia. During the pay-per-view, there was a segment in which WWE introduced new prospects from Saudi, and this led to the Divari brothers interrupting waving the Iranian flag. This segment was just entertainment, but it deeply offended a number of individuals who made death threats towards both oh. of the Divari brothers. In fact, this got so serious that Araya Divari had to put out a public apology stating it was just a wrestling sketch and that the brothers never meant any harm. Damn. Although the backlash to the angle was extreme, Araya did go on to say that sharing the ring with his brother was a moment he would remember forever. Damn. Number 8, Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley has been involved in a number of infamous storylines during his career, but without a doubt, the worst of them of all time was the time he began to yeah, date Lana. That was Lana weird. would leave Rusev in favor of Lashley, and this led to a feud that yeah. seemingly went on forever. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Although this was obviously just a storyline, there were those that actually thought that Lashley had ruined Rusev's life, and this led to Lashley receiving several death threats in real life. Lashley would discuss these death threats in a number of interviews, and Lashley would even claim that he wasn't scared or intimidated. Of course, Bobby Lashley. Lashley would state that he was an easy man to find, virtually challenging anyone that had an issue with him to step up and do something about it. Number seven. Bro, you're not going to do nothing to Bobby Lashley. Storyline-wise or not, you're not doing shit. Unless you're a trained fighter, you're not going to do a goddamn thing except type on your little keyboards. That's it. And William Regal. Now it's not just heels that receive death threats, sometimes even universally beloved stars aren't immune to being targeted. 
William Regal is a pro wrestling legend and it's hard to find someone that has an issue with the former NXT general manager. In 2012, Regal would state that he received a death threat every single day, but he didn't go into detail in relation to the form this took. Three years later, Regal took to Twitter to ask help from fans and someone called his house and threatened to take everything he loved away. This was serious stuff. And whoa, 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 wait, wait. That's a someone called his That's a Houston area code. Hey yo! Someone calling from this number 713-757-1000 has just called my house and threatened to threatened to everything you know uh uh will be taken away from that's a huge Come on man, who's from Houston doing this? That's a Houston area code. Chill. Come on. Oh my his house and threatened to take everything he loved away. This was serious stuff, and Regal would then claim there was another call asking someone was going to harm Regal. Someone calling from St. Joseph's Medical Center. Oh my, in Houston, Texas. Oh my God. Regal's bro. family. It's unknown if the perpetrator was caught, but this was a sick act that hopefully had a ton of police what the intervention. Hell? Number six, Carmella. Come on, Houston. Uh, come on, Houston, bro. That's not cool. Uh, I feel ashamed. To be from Houston from that incident right it there. that Carmella I'm was sorry, dating Corey Graves. Carmella received a ton of backlash. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I never thought it would be a Houstonian doing that that cringe shit. I, uh, on behalf of all Houstonians, I am sorry for that individual. We don't claim him. <laughs> for those that accuse Carmella of quote unquote breaking up a happy marriage. Some individuals took this one step further and Damn. actually sent the former women's champion threat. A lot of this would play on Total Divas, and whilst Total Divas forces a lot of their storylines, this was actually 100% real. I have nothing to do with this. I'm not okay right I now. Have, I... Literally, I'm getting death threats. With WWE now openly admitting that Carmella and Corey are in a happy relationship, yeah. hopefully this has stopped those twisted individuals making these drastic threats. I doubt Number it. Five, Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter. Oh in yeah, I remember their pairing. Jack parent. Swagger would debut a brand new character alongside his manager we the Zeb Coulter. This new character would have strong anti-immigration beliefs, and due to the subject nature of these yeah. beliefs, it was rather controversial. According to both Swagger and Coulter in a number of interviews, the storyline upset a lot of people, so much so that they were actually receiving death threats, as people couldn't believe the remarks that were coming out of their mouths. Mm -hmm. Coulter would discuss how the gimmick was received during an interview with Sports Illustrated and stated, I thought the liberals wouldn't like, but it was the conservatives who hated it. I got a lot of press. I was sitting in catering one day and one of the higher officers in WWE said, you play your Zeb character really well, almost too well. Wrestling is only fake until you do something that the people don't like. And all of a sudden, it's dead serious. WWE got a lot of heat and I got some death threats. Mm -hmm. Number four, Alexa Bliss. Just talked about this at Former the beginning. women's champion Alexa Bliss is one of the most popular female WWE stars on social media. But in 2022, she had no choice but to call out those who send her and her fiance death threats. Yep, this all surfaced this. after scammers were pretending to be Bliss on social media, and they were asking fans to part with their money to seemingly help the real WWE superstar. Bliss would tweet on Twitter, and I really hate that this needs to be said again. No, you are not talking to me on mm -hmm. any other social outlet. No, you do not get DMs from a personal act from me. No, we are not dating. No, I am not asking for money. And death threats to me and my fiance are not okay. Number three, late. Y'all be simping a little bit too much for uh, Alexa Bliss, bro. Y'all take the simping to a whole new level. Lacey Evans. I've got it. Lacey knows. Evans was thrown into the biggest storyline of her yeah, career in early 2021 as she would begin a storyline with Ric Flair. This storyline received terrible reviews from fans and it did very little to elevate the women's division. Although the storyline was poor, this was no excuse to send Lacey death threats and Lacey took to Twitter to reveal that some fans believed it was appropriate to sending her intimidating messages. The tweet read, how it started, how it's going. They've created me, the work put in, hills I've climbed and routes I've had to take, the negative and belittling fans, the death threats and disgusting messages left daily, yet here I am, still standing through it all, not backing down from anyone. Number two, Ric Flair. Oh, yeah, I know. In 2014, 16 time world champion yeah. Ric Flair received a number of death threats, mm -hmm. but this had nothing to do with the world of pro wrestling. Flair planned to attend the Carolina Panthers and San Francisco 49ers oh, this, game, but due to threats on his life, Flair was forced to abandon plans to attend the game. This surfaced thanks to Flair giving a pep talk to the 49ers before their game, and this didn't sit well with supporters of the Panthers. Oh. Flair's agent released a public statement which read, We know fans are passionate about their teams, but some of the choice language we have been receiving is scaring off our interns. 
When the 49ers reached out and WWE <coughs> asked Rick to jet up there, of course he said yes. He's friends with a bunch of the 49ers, just like he is with the Panthers, Packers and many other NFL players. But no, Rick does not intend on attending the Panthers vs 49ers game this weekend. Yeah, that, and <laughs> that definitely wasn't. <laughs> You go into the the opposite, the ops team to motivate them and talk to them. Yeah, people are not going to be happy one, with that. Number one, Daniel Bryan. A Daniel Bryan made a monumental decision in 2021. He was going to leave WWE in favor of signing with AEW. This was a huge loss to WWE as Bryan was one of their top stars and he would have been deeply missed. Mm -hmm. The majority of fans were happy for Bryan, but there were those diehard of WWE course. fans who were deeply hurt by Bryan leaving the company of course and they, they for whatever reason decided to send Bryan death threats. Discussing the fans' response to him leaving WWE in 2021, Brian would state during an interview with ABC6 Action News that, so it just felt weird. You know, there's a decent amount of tribalism in our culture today where it's like people are, you know, say politically. If you're right, everything on the left is bad. If you're on the left, everything on the right is bad. And same thing with wrestling. There's WWE fans and the worst ones would be like sending death threats to me on Instagram and like, I hope you die or I hope your son dies or something like that. But that's a small minority. I think wrestling fans for the most part are great are great people and great humans. But they have it folks. 10 WWE Hey yo. <clears throat> if someone goes to another company that you may not like or care for, don't sit up there and fucking send death threats to them or wish death upon their family members, their children. What's wrong with you? You were never truly a fan if you did if you do stuff like that. And I, I, I have the same sentiments for everyone that be, oh, it, AEW's trash or WWE's trash. Bro, it's wrestling. Like what you want. And if someone likes something different from you, that's fine. But don't be sending them death threats and talking talking trash like they're just a scum of the earth because they like something you don't like. What's wrong with you? Chill out, man. Let's do better in this wrestling community. This is why people, I mean, granted, there's a lot of communities that are super toxic. But this is why... People sometimes get out of the wrestling situation, like watching wrestling and even being wanting to be a part of the community because you got individuals like that that take it a little bit too far, bro. Just chill, enjoy what you enjoy, watch what you watch, support who you support, but don't get don't get to the point of trying to find out where they live, where they stay, and doing all the extra weird shit. That shit's not cool, bro. Chill out. But comment down below. Let me know what other wrestling videos you want me to check out, man. Uh, I also want to give a, a update. I probably will uh, not be checking out the AEW pay-per-view uh, double or nothing because me, Dub, True Billy, will be celebrating Dub's wife's birthday on a boat. So we won't be able to check it out. But what I will do for you guys, uh, most likely that Monday, uh, this upcoming Monday, uh, I'm going to check it out for you guys. I'm going to watch the whole thing. I'm going to try to stay away off social media so I don't get spoiled. I'm going to watch the whole thing, and I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on it. So be on the lookout for that most likely Monday. I'm going to watch it. That's that's going to be my priority that day. Watch the whole thing. No spoilers from anybody. And give my thoughts and opinions on it. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.